Give me a hug, you big bear. <laughs> well, if this is about another one of your investment ideas, forget it. I don't know, they're just a little too... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Stupid? Bingo! <laughs> whoa, 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 wait well, a minute. Well, Dad doesn't need financial advice from you. Why do you think he asked me? Oh, I don't know what, the drugstore was closed that weekend? <laughs> backpedal pretty well yourself yeah. <laughs> i think you got yourself a deal right. i'll call a real estate agent as soon as they open uh, right. thanks a lot uncle. you're welcome <laughs> let go of my hand okay. thank you <laughs> 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 congratulations we closed escrow at five o'clock this evening really we are gonna make a bundle All right. excuse me but someone's in trouble Ah, that's more like it. <laughs> He's right over here, officer. Philip Banks? I'm Philip Banks. It's been a pleasure serving you. Well, what is it, big guy? Well, apparently I'm the owner of housing that has substandard living conditions. the Neiman sale. No. Now that I'm living on my own, I have to do my own grocery shopping. <laughs> I know. Okay. Bye. Hillary, honey, I'm really proud of you. I, I don't think you've ever gone grocery shopping. <laughs> well, I guess it's time I spread my wings. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I shop here for fruit. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Daddy. You don't have to carry. I'm a big girl. <laughs> Let go, Daddy. Do your own shopping. Dad, if we put a bell around her neck, we'd at least know when she was coming. Shut up, Carlton. Okie dokie. <laughs> Hillary. You're a 23-year-old woman living in your parents' pool house. You haven't had a job in over two months. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Honey, sweetheart, I, I don't want to be too hard on you. The hell I don't get a job. Excuse me. I'm Howard, the producer of News in Action. Could you do that again? Do what? Stand like you were before on your toes. Only this time I'd like you to point. <laughs> Incredible. How would you like to be a weather girl? Uh, well, I don't know the first thing about weather. Sure you do. What happens when it rains? You send Jeffrey out to get the car. <laughs> hey, yo, man. Look, I don't appreciate being played off like this, right? This is because I'm black, right? That's why you won't put me on the air. Look, well, I'm onto your little scheme, and that one black anchor you got just ain't gonna cut it. That's why I'm making her our new weather girl. give you a car to take off the lot, man. Who said anything about leaving a lot? This'll do just fine. <laughs> get out. Get, get out! Come on, Ophelia. That's all right. I have a real friend at the bus depot. <laughs> there you are, Uncle Phil. 
25 years younger, thousands of pounds thinner. <laughs> Cruising the strip at Princeton. Mm. Wind blowing through your big old fro. <laughs> Honey's checking you out. They say it. Mm. There go Philip Banks. He is a bad mamma jam. <laughs> You're waving at you, Uncle Phil. Oh, oh go ahead. Oh. Go ahead, wave back. Oh. It's okay, wave back. Go ahead. <laughs> right on, sister. <laughs> Did I mention that the all-new accountant gets 75 miles for the gallon? The hell with the accountant. I want this. <laughs> Excellent choice, Mr. Banks. Come on in the office. We'll crunch some numbers. All right. Hey. Dad, Will just bamboozled you. And that's the story we'll tell your mother. Thank you, Will. <laughs> Swedish meatballs, sir. Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, uh, only one, sir. The rest are for Master William and his friends. Poolside. What? I can't believe that he would deliberately disobey me. I wouldn't call it disobedience, sir. It's more like outright defiance. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Dance, puppets! Dance! <laughs> Hi, Carlton. Hi, hey, Steffi. What are you doing here? I heard the party and I came to see Fashion Miss Holmes. Well, she's away at Aunt Helen's. Now, run along. I don't think you're age-appropriate for this party. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm going swimming. Hey, Will, any sign of Dad yet? Well, that's either him or a rhino that got his horn chopped off. Going swimming in the neighbor's pool. Come. Listen, we have to stand up to him, man. If he smells fear, he'll attack. How dare you two defy me? Now, see here, big guy. <laughs> oh, my God, Howard. <laughs> Come on, Will, let's get wet. Uh, young lady, would you mind putting on some clothes and going home now? Well, baby, 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 baby. What the fuck are you doing, man? You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. You should have thought of that before you defied me. Hi, Mr. Banks. Steffi, do your parents know you're here? I don't think so. They're in Aspen. Mm, and I'm in heaven. <laughs> hey, she came over here on her own. Well, I'm going back in the house. And when I come out, I want all of these people gone. Well, they will be if you come out in the morning, Uncle Phil. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight, young man. You are telling me what will or will not happen in my own house. Excuse me, but this is my house. I pay rent here too, eventually. <laughs> you watch how you talk to me. Oh, Uncle Phil, oh, stop treating me like a child. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't realize I was talking to a man. That's right. This me, Will Smith. Oh, wow. Man. Mm. I guess you're ready to play a uh, man's game, huh? <laughs> All right, Will. If that's the way you want it. Don't come back, neither. This is the last case of the day, number 1218, Philip Banks versus Will Smith and Carlton Banks for non-payment of rent. Philip, I can't believe you're suing your own son and nephew. Oh, relax, Lois. This is just a little lesson in responsibility. They're probably not even going to show up. In fact, they're probably home right now preparing their apologies. <laughs>